What are the four most frightening words in the Bible? Stay tuned, because today I'm going to show them to you. It's half past the hour here at WLIB, and I would like to welcome you to Alexander Coppersmith Program. I'm yours truly, Alex T. Coppersmith, and I want to thank you, our radio listeners, for joining us tonight. We have an outstanding show planned this evening with our special guest all the way from beautiful Downers Grove, Illinois. This guy is nothing short of phenomenal. He is the pastor of the fastest growing church in the great state of Illinois, and for that matter, probably the whole USA. Pastor Bill Balaam is in studio with us, and Pastor Balaam, let me just say, it is an honor and a delight. Thank you for having me, Alex. It is an honor to be here. Okay, let's jump right in. Is it true you started the new church a little over a year ago in a storefront in Downers Grove, and last Sunday you just dedicated a 10,000 seat auditorium? That is true. Wow, that just blows me away. Brother Bill, I have to ask you, how did you do it? That's the great thing about it. I went out around canvassing the area, asking the people what they would like in the church. And then we gave it to them. We got rid of the old traditional music, the boring hymns, the King James Bible, replaced that with the new cultural friendly Bible. The woke Bible? Yes, I love the CFB because it focuses on God's love. God is not a big hateful God, he loves everyone. He's an accepting God who cares about everyone, every gender and every sexual orientation. God is love. Brother Bill, that brings tears to my eyes. The old traditional church was so laborious and hurtful with its sad old hymns. It's archaic and ancient KJV Bible. The old church and preaching against sin. Pastor, let me ask you, what would you say to the pastors of the old traditional let's say, the Baptist churches, who are still doing it the old way. Well, Alex, I would tell them to call a mortician because their church will not be around much longer. They need to change and preach on love, not judgment and hate. They need to preach what the people want to hear. Many say the old time church is all but gone, new age is the normal, and churches that once sang the hymns, preached on hell, and stood soundly on the doctrine of saved Baptist church membership, they are like ghost towns on Sunday morning. They are outdated, outgrown, according to many of those so-called modern day pastors. Is this what's happening? Has God forsaken the old paths for the new? The true church has been a light to a world that is filled with darkness. Ever since Christ founded the church, it has been a repository of the saved. And you know what? The church hasn't gone anywhere. You want to know why? In Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 21, it says, Unto him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. God promised the church would be here throughout all generations. The true church is Jesus Christ will still be found walking in the old paths. And then in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Well, friends, there's more. Let me tell you about the Bible. Ever since the year 1611, King James Bible has been the go-to Bible for faith, doctrine, and practice. It's the hinge point that everything hangs on pertaining to the church. 
It is our source of wisdom and knowledge, our comfort and our strength. There is one thing that many people do not know concerning the Bible. Many preachers are clueless. Many wolves in sheep's clothing do not care. God told us not to change it. Now look at this. Revelations chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Verse 19 says, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which were written in this book. How clear can that be? Did you know that there are no copyrights of the King James Bible? The old hymns were written with the doctrine of Christ written into the lyrics. Did you know that? And finally, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. Verse 4 goes on to say, And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned into fables. Many have turned away from the old path, and had given themselves to the four most frightening words in the Bible. God gave them over. Being given over or yielded up to one's sinful desires is a judgment from God. It does not matter to God to how much fun a church can have on Sunday. What matters to God is obedience. In 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 22, it simply says, To obey is better than sacrifice. Friends, don't be deceived. Walk in the old paths. Keep yourself from being given over by God. Remember, God gave them over. And friends, I want to just say to you that if you're here without Christ and you don't know whether you'll spend eternity in heaven, it's very simple. You know, Christ died on the cross for our sins. He shed his blood that we can have forgiveness of sins. And the simple verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the Bible also says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. It's that shed blood and receiving Christ as your Savior and accepting Him, His death, burial, and resurrection, you too can be saved today.